show, not one-on-one -on -one cooking show, and we are in my daughter Amy's kitchen. Hello. <laughs> Making this recipe tonight. And we are having... So today we are going to have chicken wontons. The first thing we're gonna do is turn on the oven. So we're gonna put the oven on bake for 350 and start it up. So the ingredients for our wontons are gonna be a head of lettuce, a jar of paste picante sauce. You can use any kind you want, but I like the paste. We're gonna do a wonton wrappers, a tomato. I like cilantro, so I got that. I'm not gonna put it on all of them because not everybody likes cilantro. We've got a package of taco seasoning, a bag of cheddar cheese, some sour cream. We like to use Catalina for the topping. And then I've got three cans of chunk chicken because I am going to be feeding a lot. If you don't want chunk chicken, you can do um, regular chicken and just cook it in the skillet like I'm gonna do this. So next we're gonna open our chicken. If you use the canned chicken, which is more convenient and quicker, but it doesn't taste quite as good, you wanna open each can and make sure that you drain it so you don't have all that liquid on there. Okay, now that I've drained it all, I'm going to put it all into the skillet and we're going to turn this on low. We just want it to kind of cook. I put it on four on mine. I chunk it up a little bit just to spread it over the bottom of the skillet. Next, we're going to spray each one of the muffin holes. Next, you want to remove the core and then you're going to shred your lettuce. We're going to keep stirring the chicken to make sure that we pretty much cook all of the moisture out of it. Next, you're going to put the wontons in the muffin tin. So let's cut them open. Just take one and put it down in, like so. Now we've got our muffin tin all full, so we're gonna put them in the oven. And you're gonna kinda just keep an eye on it, but about five minutes, just to kinda get them brown around the edges. Next, we're gonna cut our tomato up. cooked out of the chicken. Then I go ahead and add my taco seasoning. And then I will take a little bit of water and add it to the taco seasoning as well. Then mix that up good. I have three containers of chicken. I'm gonna add just a little bit more taco seasoning. We did end up cooking them about seven minutes instead of five because I like mine a little more brown around the edges. The chicken is done, so turn your stove off. Then take the chicken and pour it into a nice big bowl so you have room for stirring. Then you wanna add cheese. I do not measure it out. I just put a handful. Same thing with the salsa. I just pour about half a container or maybe, actually it's probably closer to a third. Then you mix it all together so you have a chicken mixture to put into your wonton cups. You just take a little spoonful of the chicken mixture and put it in each one of the little wonton cups. Next, you're just gonna put a little bit of cheese on the top of each one of the wontons. Then you're going to add about a teaspoon of salsa on the top of each one. All right, once you've got the cheese and the salsa on the top of each one, you're gonna put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes. They are done, so you're gonna take them out of the oven. I'm just gonna take a couple and put them on a plate. And then we're gonna walk over and put your toppings on whatever you would like. Bye. Enjoy. 
Okay, today we got three of my great grandchildren here. They're gonna be our taste testers. We're gonna start with Presley. Take a bite of your wonton. And then you give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay, now we've got Piper. She's gonna taste test. Let's see what she thinks about it. And then we got Lincoln over here waiting patiently. And what do you think about it? <laughs> thumbs up thumbs or up? thumbs down? <laughs> We are having a special guest. <laughs> okay, so we are going to, I said cheese. Uh -huh. Redo it. I also sometimes will make it with real chicken. <laughs> Same thing with the salsa. I do 